Gas prices rising, more and more people look for alternatives. A decade ago, electric cars, wind generators, and solar panels seemed like iffy things to get into. But with the success of Elon Musk's Tesla and solar energy becoming the king of renewables, more and more people take interest in it. So what makes people think that solar energy in particular is a good investment? If you're living in an average American house, for example, in Pennsylvania, your monthly bill will be around $110. It might not seem like much, but the monthly bills amount to roughly $1,300 by the end of a year. On average, a 5 to 6 kilowatt solar system can cover 80 to 90% of the energy needs of a medium-sized house. Not only do your bills diminish greatly, you can also sell excess solar energy into the grid for credits to cover nightly energy consumption. You could say that a PV system brings you over $100 a month. Now, how fast will that actually pay for itself? Let's do the math. Today, a quality 6 kilowatt system will cost somewhere under $10,000. The PV installation itself lasts for at least 25 years. You can expect it to pay for itself in 7 to 8 years on average. After that, it brings in a clean profit. You could say that the system would pay for itself at least 3 times. After 25 years, the savings from it will be well over $30,000. However, we didn't include the incentives from the government that encourage people to switch to renewable energy. The biggest incentive that the state offers is federal solar tax credit. It brings the overall cost for a home solar installation down to $6,000 to $7,000, which means that the payback period is also going to be shorter, just four to five years. With incentives used, a system can give a 500% return on investments. But we still aren't done. Pennsylvania isn't the most sunny place in the US. In California, panels get 50% more sunlight, which means they produce more energy and bring more profit. Plus, this state offers its own incentives. Speaking from experience, I'd say that a home solar system in LA can pay for itself in three years. The ROI time of solar panels may become even shorter in the next few years. Panels get cheaper and cheaper. Just to put this into perspective, they were twice as expensive 10 years ago, and you could easily pay over 15 grand for the same 6 kilowatt system. Analysts from a real estate company, Zillow, say that a PV system increases property value by over 4% on average in the US. That's an additional $10,000 for the medium-valued home. If you ever decide to sell your house, you basically will get back the money you've spent on the solar system for it. The other reason why people go for solar panels is the fact that they can make your house more sustainable. Basically, you can use solar panels in two different ways. The first one we've already described. Your house is connected to the grid, but it is powered by solar and you sell your energy to the utility. It's called a grid tie system, but there are also off-grid systems. In this case, you aren't connected to the grid at all. You rely only on solar panels and batteries which power your home at night and on gloomy days when panels don't generate enough energy. Off-grid systems are a great choice for houses in remote locations where there are no power lines. Having an off-grid solar system really makes a difference in times of extreme weather. Power lines are often down at that time, but with solar, you can still have your house fully functional. Panels are a great alternative to generators in this case because they don't need fuel and withstand strong winds and hail pretty well. By the way, it's a myth that panels stop working on cloudy days. Panels use not just visible sunlight, but all kinds of solar radiation to produce energy. In my experience, they lose no more than a half of their production on very bad days. There's also a lot of talk about solar as an alternative to fossil fuels. By now, the overwhelming majority of scientists agree that the climate is warming and we are the reason behind it. 
You've probably already heard of the carbon footprint, which is all greenhouse emissions caused by human activity. These emissions increase the temperature on Earth and lead to warming of the oceans and climate change. The U.S. has one of the highest carbon footprints per person in the world, which amounts to 15 tons per year. Obviously, solar energy isn't a standalone solution to it. Even if you transfer all of the households to the solar-powered systems, the carbon print will be reduced only by 25%. The industry of solar panel manufacturing does have its own environmental concerns as well. The very process of making panels is energy-intensive and polluting. We don't have a great way to dispose of old panels yet. Cleaning large solar farms requires a lot of water, but the negative effect of the solar industry is way less compared to power plants. So, for now, it's only reasonable for people to put their trust in solar energy. Even if its impact on the battle against climate change is relatively small for now, it may lead to a big change in the long term. A1 Solar is one of the companies involved in this battle. If you're interested in eco-technologies and their impact as we are, subscribe to our Instagram and YouTube. We've got a lot of content about solar panels and solar energy in general that we wanted to share with you. That's all for this one. See you next time.